I'm joined by Shelby Davidson, the Foot Locker finalist, state champion, and three-time Cape Coast Conference champion out of Cocoa Beach, the senior. And today's a very important day, Shelby. We get a chance to hear from you personally where your college choice is going to be. I know that it's probably been a long season, and you're probably ready to get this off of your chest a little bit, aren't you? Yes, so ready. You know, it's going to come down to uh, some very, very good schools. And before you let us know your choice, why don't we take a little break, and I'm going to tell the folks a little bit more about some of your accomplishments in high school. Well, over the last few years, we've had a chance to get to know Shelby Davidson quite well. We've had a chance to see her quick races, her articulate interviews, and her outstanding blogs that are always a pleasure to read. The first time I interviewed Shelby, the summer of 2010, it was quite apparent to me that she had the dedication and the desire to be one of the best distance runners in the state and also the nation. In 2010, she had a great cross country season. She finished second at state and subsequently finished ninth at Foot Locker South, earning her a berth to her first Foot Locker National Championships where she finished in 33rd. In the spring of 2011, she went up to New York to compete in the New Balance Indoor Nationals. She clocked 1727, finishing 11th overall, and that was out of the slow heat. What a great track season for Shelby. She anchored her 4x8 relay team at state. She also finished fourth in the 1600, and later that night, after a very busy day, she came back and was a state 3,200 meter runner up. But the best was yet to come. After a great summer of training, Shelby finally won her first state championship and she just narrowly missed qualifying for her second Foot Locker Nationals by finishing 11th at the Foot Locker South Regional. Shelby has PRs of 5 flat in the 1600, 1039 in the 3200, and 1727 indoors for the 5K. She's also an outstanding student. She's in the International Baccalaureate program at Cocoa Beach High School. So Shelby, here we go. We're just about ready to get your decision on where you're gonna to go to college next year, take your talents in the fall of 2012. You know, I mentioned before, three-time Cape Coast Conference champion, state champion this year in 2A in cross country, and last year a Foot Locker finalist. And you've got all kinds of other accolades here in the county, across the state and the southeast. So it's been a very, very successful high school career for you. And it's kind of ironic that we're back here at Wickham Park about a year and a half from the very first time that I interviewed you, almost in this identical same spot. And you've put a lot of miles in this park, made a lot of friends, and uh, had a lot of memories, I'm sure. Can you kind of tell us how the recruiting process went? Um, the recruiting process was, it's fun, but it's stressful. Um, you have, well for me personally, I'm in the IB program, so I had to balance um, sleeping, eating, school, calling coaches, getting their calls, and it's just like, it's sometimes it's a hassle, but you know it, in the end it'll be worth it. Um, but it was pretty smooth for me the entire time. Um, on July 1st, when they could start calling me, I got eight calls, so I was super excited this summer, just like get everything started. and. Um, but it went, it went really well, and um, I was really surprised at, like, just how quick it went. I mean, I can't believe I'm standing here right now but to, like, announce my college decision. And like you said, I was here a year and a half ago, just, like, just starting out, ready for my junior year. And look at me now. It's, like, crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> Well, we're almost to the point where we're going to hear from you personally where you're going to go next year. You know, in this recruiting process, it can kind of take its toll sometimes especially when you've got visits and you've got uh, meets that you have to prepare for. Who are some of the folks that were maybe instrumental in the recruiting process specifically? Um, definitely Coach Butler. He's technically my club coach, um, but he's been one of the biggest helps like throughout my career in general. Um, without him, I would be nowhere today, like without his training, his help, his advice. Um, and he's been really instrumental in contacting coaches as well because Coaches contacted me just on their own, you know, without people telling them. But, like, if there was a school that I really wanted to talk to, Coach Butler would um, shoot them an email or give them a call or something to be like, hey, Shelby Davidson, um, she runs this and this and she wants to talk to you. So that was really helpful. And also just my parents and my brother just being there for me as support, as well as my grandparents. Um, everyone has been really great um, just to make it less stressful, to encourage me throughout the process. 
and keep me focused. I know a lot of people have been asking you probably for weeks now. And are you ready to let us know where you're going to go to school next year? Yes, I'm ready. Already. Shelby Davidson is ready to announce. Shelby, let's hear it. Where is it going to be? University of Florida. The University of Florida. <laughs> yeah. The orange and blue right in Gainesville under Coach Holloway and Coach Morgan. Congratulations, another Gator joining your brother Tyler yeah. up at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Whew. <laughs> and staying in state, too. Yeah. That is awesome. As we know, uh, the, the program under Coach Morgan has uh, done really well over the last couple of years. Uh, this year may have been a little bit of an off year, but next year they are really going to rebuild. They've already got Julie Macedo that has committed, and you are coming in next year as well to really solidify that Gator program. And I'm just absolutely stoked that you're going to be staying in state. <laughs> I really had no clue which one it was going to be. Yeah. Uh, you had basically, I think, uh, several choices, and it came down. And tell us why. Why the University of Florida? Um, it's really just the most amazing place to be. Like, I went on, it was only my third visit, actually, and I canceled my other visits. But um, right when I got there, within an hour of being there, I was like, I want to be here right now. You know, like, I want to be part of this program. And um, basically, one of the most important factors for me was um, the girls team and the guys team and the coaches um, the coaches are just so dedicated and they're really they're really inspirational with like telling you your training what you need to be eating what you need to be doing it's it's just like the perfect setup and also the girls team is amazing I feel like I fit in really well really well with them and you know having Tyler there on the boys team is just a bonus like I, I would never pick a school just because of a sibling um, contrary to popular belief but it's like it's, it'll be fun having him on the same team as me again. Um, and also just all the benefits that they have at University of Florida compares to no other school. Like they have your personal nutritionist, your academic advisors, student athletic building. Um, they basically let you register for your classes before. And also they have my major that I want to do at the university. So that's a plus also. And what do you think you're going to study? Um, I want to do interior design. So. Oh, excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, it's been, it's been a long couple of years. It's been a great ride. You know, you got to this point where you could actually make a college decision, uh, but you probably didn't get here by yourself. And I like to say, you know, you had some help along the way. Who were yeah. some of the folks that were really instrumental in bringing you along as a runner, state champion, footlocker finalist? Um, obviously my coach, Coach Seal Walker. She's been amazing just my whole running career. She's been there for me, like, through the ups and the downs of my stress for school and just, like, when I've been emotional about my training and my leg is hurting, she's just been there for me the whole time and she's just really great. And um, also Coach Butler, like I said before, he's, I don't know, he's like basically another coach to me. Um, he has the best program for summer, for in season, um, and he's just been the best. Like, like I said with Seal, um, he's motivated me, he's turned me into the runner I am today, so I'm really thankful for him. <laughs> It's good to have some good help along the way, and those are some uh, great mentors and leaders here in the community. And congratulations, Shelby Davidson, going to yeah. be a Florida Gator next year. <laughs> We're really, really stoked, and thanks for sharing it with us, Shelby. Thank congratulations you. again. Thanks.